Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have an update on a wider range of the Odyssey line of monitors from the 32 inch G50A, 27 and 32 inch G52A, 27 inch Odyssey G55A to see the differences in case you were wondering which one to get. All of this coming up on Victor's Reality. Again, friends here checking at the Samsung website, the G50A, the monitor that I've been showcasing here on the channel at 249 on sale is an amazing price point. You can get this at Amazon at Best Buy price match it. Please use the links below as it helps the channel tremendously at no cost to you. And it helps me bring technology to you faster than ever. But at 249, you do not lose whatsoever. I guarantee you, you get this monitor. You will be happy. Don't even think about it at this price. It's better than the Dell S2721 DGF as the Dell cannot read a 4K 60Hz signal while the G50A can, especially for your PlayStation 5 needs, of course, Xbox Series X and your media streaming devices. So that's the amazing price point on the Odyssey G50A, but they did recently announce a 32 inch Odyssey G50A and the price point seems about right for a 32 inch model as it goes toe to toe with the LG 32 GP 950. As you know, I love that monitor. But one thing I do want you to see, if we go to the specifications on the Samsung website, brightness minimum here says 280 nits, while the typical is 350 nits. And while the Odyssey G50A 27 inch says the same thing, you know it gets very bright. 400 plus nits according to artings.com. They are still both at HDR10 so we can say as the specifications are exactly the same at 165 Hertz 1440p with an IPS screen you will get an amazing bright panel it's just the increase in size from 27 to 32 inches again friends it's a buy you don't lose whatsoever and as it's just released if you wait a little bit it'll be cheaper buy it when you think it feels right but this is just a 32 inch version of the G50A that I've been showing here on the channel and moving on over to the Samsung Odyssey G52A 27 and 32 inch 165 IPS monitor you can see friends everything seems to be the same as the G50A except this is true HDR 400 certified Right here, Artings has information on the 27 inch and 32 inch versions, the G50 and the G52, but the two means it's HDR400 certified. So G50 HDR10, G52 HDR400. Everything being exactly the same as we just covered on the G50A 32 inch model. Here are the specifications, just so you can see for yourself, everything is the same. And at these current new release prices, it's only about $30 more just for that HDR400 certification. Now with IPS panels with no local dimming zones, I really don't recommend HDR performance on any of these monitors as the contrast can't get deep enough, even if it didn't have local dimming zones, to experience that brightness power like the original G7 which has adequate HDR performance but nothing like the new Neo G8 would provide or even the QD OLED ultra wide gaming monitor from Alienware those two give you true HDR performance and for HDR to start getting good I would say HDR 600 is needed HDR 600 to 1000 but if you do want that certification if you did use it and you have content for it 30 bucks more might as well go for the all-in-all all-rounder G52A. Now one thing they did announce is the 27 inch G55A which is now a curved monitor but the brightness and screen is different. It's a VA panel 200 nits in minimum brightness with 300 brightness typical HDR10 at 165 Hertz with a 1000 R curvature. It says it's new but you can see it's using the body of last year's Odyssey G5 so the price seems about right it's just an update of last year's VA panel, which if you look at the reviews out there from the G5 to the G7, there is a noticeable difference in performance. The G7 is way superior than the G5, and that is way superior than the G3. So again, get what you can get, but the G7 is the king so far on VA technology, panel response, panel speed. But I just wanted to show you, there is an update from the G5 to now the G55A. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like as it helps the channel tremendously and consider subscribing if you do want to see more in the whole lineup of Samsung Odyssey monitors. As I can easily say, this channel, we are Odyssey lovers, Odyssey gamers, and Odyssey freaks. So friends, stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.